Hi, I'm Richard. Now this is a video for my supporters and patrons. So first off, I want to say a massive thank you uh, for all your help. Now I'm going to, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the custom plants feature, which is a ability to create your own plants with their own schedules. So if you grow slightly differently, then you can do that. So there, there's two ways to create custom plants. The first one is uh, from the plan where you can copy an existing row, or you can do it from the plants in the grow guides. So on the plant page, um, uh, we can just hit this copy as new custom plant button and that will create a uh, custom plant. So we can name it, let's call this Basil. Um, let's hit create. Now this copies the schedule of the plant you've used. I'm just gonna delete all these rows of the schedule. Now we're probably gonna sow in May for our Basil. So I'm gonna do this in May and probably August and S September I'm gonna harvest it and but I'm probably gonna sow it in February indoors just to get it the longest growing period possible. Now I also want to create a new row uh, where I'm going to do it in June, but again, I'm probably only going to harvest it September, August, September. Um, that's the sow indoors and plant out type uh, of schedule. You can also sow direct type schedules uh, and they're exactly the same, but uh, obviously they don't have the sow indoors icon. Now, once you've set the schedule for your um, for your custom plant, you can also set the spacing. So Comfrey is huge uh, compared to Basil, it's massive. So um, if we had a row of, we just need to sort of work out what it is because that will set the scale of the, the image on the, on the screen. So, so let's say spacing along the row is about 30 centimeters. If you uh, like prefer inches, it will use your preferred measure. So let's do 12 inches. So we save our changes. Now, uh, if we go back to the grow guide section, now we can filter, we can find our custom plants by just hitting this list only custom plants icon and then all your custom plants will appear. Um, so here you can see the basil we've created. So let's go to our plan. We'll need to go to the month that we said that we can plant this out. And as you can see up here on the right, the basil appears using the comfrey icon. Uh, you can also, if it doesn't appear there, you can also um, select the just list only custom plants. Um, and it will appear and then you can just add it onto your plan and there we go we have a row of basil custom basil so that's one way of creating a custom plant the other way of creating a custom plant is to let's scroll down to the bottom down here uh, let's go back to April when we planted this carrot I don't really want to sow it to harvest it in July August September I'm going to harvest it later so probably not even August so probably November November and December. So this planting has its own schedule, um, but the, the, the underlying plant schedule it is, hasn't been changed. So what I can do now that is create a custom plant. If up here on the right is a drop down menu for the planting details once it's selected. Now we can then hit to custom. As you can see, it's created a custom plant here. Uh, it's changed the plant to custom plant. If we now go back to here, um, you can see here's our custom carrot. Again, if we untack the timely plants because we're in April, we can go and see our, our custom basil. So once it's created, you can then drag on another row with the same schedule uh, at any time, in next year or, or whenever. Um, but you can also hit this little icon here uh, and that will take you to the, the custom plant page that we saw earlier with its own custom schedule. Okay. There we go. I hope you like the custom plants feature. Um, there'll be more uh, supporter features coming. Uh, the next up is the, uh, I'm working on the My Jobs area. So that's getting a complete overhaul and there'll be some custom features as part of that. So custom jobs and things like that that you can add to any item on the plan. So thank you for supporting VegPlotter uh, and I really appreciate it and uh, I hope it's useful. Thank you.